Hey, what's going on here? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day three. I'm still going at it. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself, but I haven't reached like day five. I think after day five, I'm going to cock it. Like I'm done. But today's video is color. I've done such like natural looks this past like two days or so. And I'm like, I need color in my life. Like I would actually wear this like a Christmas party. I did a red smoky eye with a bit of gold in the inner corner and obviously a green lip because what's Christmas without green? <laughs> but this is the look today. I love it so much. And with my hair, it looks sick as i look so good so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give it a thumbs up if you want to know how i create this look just keep on watching <laughs> we're going to be using three different palettes today because i'm extra in love palettes <laughs> so the main one i'll be using today is the morphe 12p and this is obviously the colorful one i'm mostly going to use that red so i'll but obviously use the red out of this a lot the next one is the androgyny palette by jeffree star cosmetics and i think i might just use a fetish which is a very darker one which i'll obviously use in my crease but for a transition shade today i'm going to be using charm and safe word so i'm using this as my transition as well so i'll zoom you guys in and we'll start with my transition shade okay so for my transition shade today I'm going to be using a safe word and a little bit of charm Even though you won't see this color, I still like doing a transition shade because it helps me out to know where to put my crease shade. I don't know, I've always done it, so I'm just gonna stick with doing it. <laughs> that is my transition shade. So to start off with the red, I'm gonna go straight into the Morphe palette and put that in my crease. I'm also going to bring this color down to my lid as well. If I decide to fully put it on my eye, I will fix it up after. So just to deepen the crease just a little bit, I'll be grabbing Fetish. There's the Androgyny palette, which is right there. So I'm also going to bring this color down to my lid as well. I kind of like it, but I kind of hate it. <laughs> but I'm just going to fix it up to my desired liking. And then once that is done, I will come back to you guys. This will take ages. Like doing very bright colors and making it your own is very, very hard. So I'm just going to like blend it until I like it. And that's going to take ages for me because I need it perfect. Okay, so for my inner corner highlight, just before I do like anything else, I'm going to grab frosting in the Android New Palette, which is right there. Grab some of that and put it in the inner corner. Okay, so I'm not going to film this part because I will be out of frame and I just know it. I'm going to be doing some eyeliner, but I'm not going to be winging it. I'm just going to be putting the eyeliner on my eyelids, not winging it. But the eyeliner I'm going to be using is the Elf Gel Eyeliner, and it just looks like this. Okay, so that is the eyeliner. So I just put eyelash glue on my eyelashes so they're becoming tacky. But while that is happening, I'll put some mascara on. So first, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, like in every other video. Ooh. So now I'm going to wait for my lashes to become tacky and then put them on. They're the exact same lashes as the previous videos, the most spidery ones. Next clip you'll see with eyelashes and then we will do the face. Once again, I've already pre-prepped my skin, so I've already primed. I just used moisturizer and my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and Primer Water. So now I'm going to use some foundation. Like yesterday's video, I don't have any foundation, so I mix some foundations together and this is the oxidized one. So I'm going to look a bit orange today, but I'm going to be using my air sponge to make me look kind of more pale. Does that make sense? So I'm just using this with a paddle brush. So like yesterday, I used a bit of a lighter foundation to just kind of lighten this because it's really dark. You can't tell because I'm right in front of a window, but I am so dark. 
I look crazy. Now I'm going to blend this all in with the beauty blender. I would put my lashes on, I just realized. Okay, so once this is blended, I'm gonna put my lashes on because I actually kind of got that I needed to put them on. Awkward. So I'm quickly gonna put my eyelashes on because I actually forgot that I had to put them on. So now I'm going to bake, and then while I'm baking, I will finish off my eyes. So again, with my Cody Air Spun, I'm gonna grab a bit of this and put it right under my eye. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using a normal pressed powder. This is the Australia's one, like always. <laughs> While that is baking, I'm going to zoom you guys back into my eyes and we're going to finish off the lower lash line. For my lower lash line, I'm going to mix Fetish from Jeffree Star's Androgyny Palette and the Red from the Morphe Palette to create my lower lash line eyeshadow. Oh, that looks so good. While I'm at it, with the androgyny palette, I'm going to grab a bit of the frosting color again, which is the corner one, which I did on my inner corner, and just enhance that because it kind of got lost with everything we did earlier. Now the eyes are done, and we're going to move on to the rest of the face. So, like the other previous videos, I'm going to be using my designer brands. Once again, I always use the same shit, so let's contour. <laughs> Now, like always, we're going to use a Kardashian Beauty to bronze. So now, like always, I'm going to spritz my face with setting spray because there's a lot of powder on my face and I've got to let it sink in. And then getting my fan brush and spraying that also. And grabbing a clips and putting that on my cheekbones. Okay. I'm gonna spray my denser brush and grab ice cold and pack that right on top. Cupid's bow. And my nose. Okay, let's do some lips now. I'm so excited. So for my lips today, I'm going to be using Crocodile Tears and also Dirty Money. I was originally going to do Crocodile Tears straight up, but I thought maybe just add a bit of Dirty Money in the center and makes it more Christmassy. I don't bloody know. But first of all, I'm going to add Crocodile Tears. As it is a very opaque color, I need to add another layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of dirty money into the center. Oh, yes! It's a bit darker on the edges, and then obviously it ombres, ombres into the lighter shade. I love Christmas. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of day three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up for me. If you are liking this series type of thing, please let me know because I would love to do it again if I can get through it. Like it's just day three, Chloe, calm down. If you are new here, please subscribe because I make a video every single day in December. But usually I do it every single week. All my social media links and all the products I use are in the description box down below. Like always, spread love and stay positive and I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Oh, hanging all the stockings by the Christmas tree. Oh, why? Cause that's Christmas to me. Oh, why? Cause that's Christmas to me.